Hi everyone, this is German Olvan. Today we're going to talk about a uh, comparison. Econometrics versus statistics. So we're going to see between the two which one is harder in fact. And uh, we're going also to analyze the kind of models that the, both uh, disciplines use in what field and how they apply those models to the real world. So econometrics is a subset of statistics because you cannot do any econometrics without statistics. So you need to have a uh, pretty good knowledge of statistics to, uh, in order to perform econometric analysis. So I can say that every statistician is, a, is an econometrician, but not every econometrician is a statistician, if that makes sense. So there are four kinds of data we use uh, whether it's in econometrics or in statistics. So you have observational data, you have experimental data, you have numerical data, and you have categorical data. So observational data are retrospective data. It means that it's a historical data you use. Let's say they give you the data of the US GDP from 1990 to 2000. This is a uh, observational data. And experimental data is what uh, you will used to uh, to conduct an experiment it's mainly used in the medical field in the in actually in the heart sciences experimental data is used in the heart sciences because you you con you uh, conduct experiments and you're trying to see uh how the experiment plays out and you and you will make an inference based on that then you have numerical data so numerical data is all kind of quantitative data that you can find and then you have categorical data Car categorical data is basically uh, literary answer so yes no pass fail etc so these are the four kinds of data so in econometrics we mainly use observational data and numerical data sometimes we can use um, categorical data but it's not as you is not used as much compared to uh, the observational data and numerical data. Why we use observational data in econometrics? Because you can run experiment on in the social sciences, not like that. Maybe in psychology you can, but in economics, it's, you cannot run experiments to see how people react to, a, to an economy or anything. You just collect the data based on the survey that people filled out. You try to, uh, you quantify their answers and you try to make a statistical inference. And it is important to understand that econometrics is concerned with causal inferences. Causal inferences. It doesn't mean that, uh, of course, everybody says uh, correlation is not causation. Yes. But a strong correlation could indicate a partial causation. So it is important to understand that if you have like, if you compare, I mean, if you're analyzing two variables and you, you see that those two variables have the relationship have a very strong correlation, they have like a R square that is a 0.9, you can confidently say that, okay, this, the independent variable may not be the, uh, it may not be like the actual causation of it, but it is definitely part of the causation of why the outcome variable have this outcome. So it is important to understand that econometrics deals with causal inferences. And where econometrics is pretty much used? Econometrics is used in economics, finance, business and it is also used in history also known as cliometrics oops or cliometrics it depends on how you want to pronounce it and in political science to some extent And in political science so that's where econometrics is used so for instance in econometrics you have like uh the Ocken law the Ocken law is a model it's a simple linear regression model that they use in econometrics is to show that uh 
GDP growth decreased when unemployment in, uh, increased. So this is very interesting. This is one model that we use in econometrics. There are other models that we use in finance, such as the uh, auto regressive, the, the auto regressive condition heteroscale as DCT. We also use the GARC. We also use the ARMA, ARIMA. These are the models that we mainly use in econometrics, and we use that to assess the volatility of the market. We use that to understand to predict uh the market trend where the market is gonna go in the next season etc statistics we use pretty much this for in statistics you use observational experimental numerical and categorical So that's statistic. We use it pretty much in everything. So statistic is broader than econometrics. And in statistics, statistics is mainly focused on statistical inference. Statistical, statistical inference. So in statistic, what they want to see is when you do a statistical analysis, you're not focused on the social or the policy aspect of it you try to explain that how uh, the r square for instance determine the correlation between the two variables or the fact that the p-value is uh is above the 0 0.05 but it has like a r square that is kind of like good enough like how would you explain that why would you explain that the the p-value is not that good but the r square is good and stuff like that so that's what statistical inference is focuses on mainly it focus on the statistical analysis of the study not on the economic or the historical or i don't know the financial analysis of the study no and where do you use statistics you use first of all statistics in all of these fields here and you use that also in physics medicine biology chemistry computer science etc so statistics is pretty much used everywhere so it's broader you get to use statistics in economics in finance in business in history in politics in physics in medicine biology uh, chemistry computer science etc and in in uh, in the physical or should I say the hard sciences as I said we mainly use experimental data so you see for instance in biology biometricians use experimental biometricians they use experimental data a lot because they try that's how they test drugs and see if the drug is performant for instance the vaccine that they are they are currently running they say that is 90 or 94.5 percent effective how they determine that is not 90 or 95 percent effective it is because they've run an experimental data they've tested on people and they collect the data and see so they so they they do it like a drug test where you have like the placebo and the actual drug and see between the placebo and the actual drug which one is more effective so that's why that that's why they do uh in the current situation with covid they use experimental data to run uh, to perform the statistical analysis and make, and make inferences so if i could give an advice between the two if you were interested in studying the two honestly the two are great the two will literally give you a job no matter what i think statistics is at the end of the day better because it's broader and you can navigate in the professional world with a statistics degree with econometrics, you're kind of like stuck a little bit in certain disciplines and you can't go anywhere. But if you're satisfied with the disciplines that you're in, that's fine. If you love finance, if you love doing quantitative finance, that's fine. If you love economics, that's fine. History, that's fine. Political science, that's fine. But if you're into like finance and you want to move, I don't know, to like biology, you want to work for a pharmaceutical company, that's where it becomes complicated because you're not used to work with... Uh, with experimental data but in a 
in econometrics, for instance, you can still work with categorical data because when you try to understand how consumer uh, behave regarding a brand or product, usually you, you use categorical data. So you will perform like the logistic regression, which is based on a, bi on a bin binary number system. And you're going to use also in statistics specifically, other kind of complicated, very complex, uh, and rigorous uh, statistical tools and uh, yeah pretty much so I think statistics at the end of the day gives you a more options in terms of uh, of like career prospect econometrics is also great do not get me wrong I'm currently doing a certificate in statistics rather than econometrics because we never know in life where, you, where you're going to end up so I chose statistics I want to make sure that I can navigate around uh, the the job market and see if I want to move, I don't know, to the medical field or I want to move into the healthcare field. I can perform like experimental, I can use experimental data and perform some statistical analysis with that. Let, let me know what you think in the comment. And until then, actually, the next video, we're going to move to econometrics too and we're going to start with the polynomial regression. Until then, take care.